you're gonna get some looks. You're, you're gonna get a few peeks from people. Today I got one for the real tech heads out there. The real enthusiastic viewers who are looking for something unusual. I promise you, today's video is unusual. This is something I've never seen before, but I have often thought about. Worlds colliding, things coming together. Now if you've been following the channel, you know that I've got love for all different kinds of tech. Most importantly, I've got love for iPhone and Android. I use both. There are benefits and drawbacks, pros and cons. There are great devices on both sides. But today I'm gonna show you something that combines the two. A love child, if you will. Android and iPhone together at last. You're speaking my language, Lou, but I need to know more. This product in front of me is a prototype. It's a Kickstarter right now. It's from a company called ST. The founder here, he said, I'll send you the prototype. It's one of a kind, you gotta be very careful. Keep in mind, this is not a finished product. It will be a finished product after the goal is reached. But this is your first look at what an Android iPhone combination could look like. And it's all through this particular case. So inside the box, You've got this unusual looking thing. It actually is the box your device will ship in, this device here. And then opening it up, the actual unit. First off, this is a screen on the back. You insert your iPhone 7 Plus, will work for the 7 as well, into the front of the device. It'll keep operating as you'd expect. Then this case fits onto the back of it and it turns the rear into an Android device. Now, they've obviously got some super slim device in there because the whole package, once it's together, is not huge. The other thing this thing does is it adds extra battery life to your main device. The battery in here on the Android side will feed the iPhone side. Next up, wireless charging. Somehow, I don't know, the claim is that through this glass display, wireless charging will be enabled essentially for both devices, charging up the first and then the next, the iPhone, as well as this Android device on this side. There's also even a couple of SIM card slots for a total of three potential phone numbers. You could have two numbers on the Android side, one number on the iPhone side. The finished product will not look like this. In fact, this little dot right here is the power button at the moment, and you activate the screen by tapping down here. And it has a traditional headphone jack as well. You're excited, but you're like, Lou, show me the goods. Okay, insert the phone into here, like so. One of the only prototypes. The product that ships to you will be made of a different material that have a different fit and finish. It'll also have some functionality that this one currently doesn't have, like the ability to use the iPhone's rear camera while previewing what your image will look like on this display, allowing you to use the better camera module for selfies. That's in the Kickstarter details, so we'll see how they execute on that. All right, I'm gonna tap down here and look at that. Oh my, what, excuse, what? iPhone, Android, iPhone, Android. Look at this, this is fully functioning. Look at this, this is crazy. You have essentially a full functioning Android phone which has been stripped down to the bare essentials with the battery, the SIM tray, and somehow hacked into an iPhone case. Most battery cases are already this thick on their own. No screen, no phone, no nothing. I don't believe this is a finished product in terms of software. We can see it's actually running CyanogenMod currently and it's Android version 6.0.1. But again, that's strictly for this prototype. The display on the Android side is actually OLED. It's a 1080p display. All the features are not currently present in this prototype, but there's one that I want to try out that I think might be working in here, which is the wireless charging. So I have my trusty wireless charging lamp over here. If you missed that video, well, let me tell you something, you're missing out. Oh, wow. They weren't lying. Charging icon. All right, so I tried it out on a couple wireless chargers. First the lamp, and now I have a dedicated one. It's a little tough to line it up right now, but I'm pretty sure I know the reason why. The ridge here extends well beyond the display. So if your wireless charger is resting on the outside, it can't really make great contact with the glass portion, which is where the charging is coming through. I still think it's a pretty wild idea that you're taking an entire Android device and display and then charging an iPhone on the other side through it, but anyhow, it's not, it's really not there yet. But anyway, the priority here is to give juice to your main device, to the iPhone, and the Android device will never take from it. Nonetheless, a cool idea in a, in a very slim package. The question now is, can he deliver on a finished product that meets your criteria from a polished perspective? Given what I'm seeing right now, it's pretty promising. You're gonna get some looks. You're, you're gonna get a few peeks from people. 